Bonjour everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today, Virgo Currents, I'm going to be doing your January mid-month reading. So I hope you're doing well and that you've had a good beginning of the month. Please do remember those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. Take what applies and discard the rest. So what are the energies for the second half of January for my Virgo Querent? I'm going to pull out two energies from this deck for you and then I will delve into the message with my tarot cards. So your first energy is 33, Chaos and Conflict. Okay, so this you may be experiencing some kind of um, instability, or actually this is how you feel, that, you know, things are unstable, you may feel conflicted about something, um, or you may experience conflicts with others. If you look really um, carefully, I hope you can see it inside the, um, the, in the inner of the animal, of the zebra. Well, you can call that a zebra because it's got a giraffe patterns as well. But the creature, there's there's a fire in in its um, belly, its entrails. So it could be um, an outer conflict, as in with other people, but it could also be an inner conflict within yourself and feeling very destabilized at the moment, um, like things are crumbling down around you is the message I'm getting. Let me pull out another card for you. Okay, for you, right there. Higher power. This is interesting. This card just came out as the second energy for the Taurus sign. So if you have Taurus in your chart, you may want to check out the Taurus reading as well. Um, so the higher power card is just saying that whatever is happening to you right now, this is guided by the hand of God, the divine, the universe, the angels, spirit, whatever it is you believe in, there's no judgment on my channel. But this is um, happening for a reason, it's not happening to you, it's happening for you. So if you're feeling like you're being disconstructed at the moment because everything is crumbling down, this is the hand of spirit. Um, to steer you towards something better. It may not feel this way, um, but yes, this is what I'm hearing. Let's see what the tarot has to say about this. So clarify the message for my Virgo current. Your first card is the Five of Cups. Unsurprised that this has just come up. The King of Cups. Justice. That's interesting. In the middle row, you get the King of Wands. Center of your spread, Judgment. Big energy. Strength. The Fool, oh wow, okay. The Ten of Wands. And the Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, underlying energies that you may not be aware of, you've got the Emperor. Okay, I need to talk about this immediately. You have such an overwhelming amount of Major Arcana in this read. Um, you have so one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. Uh, that's fifty percent of the spread. Um, so that's a lot. And the reason why I'm flagging this up is because the minor arcana they deal with the 
day-to-day -day events, situation and occurrences, whereas major arcana are more permanent type of energies that are put on your life path so you can grow emotionally, spiritually, intellectually. And with the card of the higher power, with the hand of the higher power being, being there, I'm unsurprised that you have so much of this because this is really spirit saying to you, okay, this is going to be a big transformation for you on all level. Like, um, it's like you're going to go through an upgrade kind of, kind of thing. You've got two of the biggest karma cards here. You've got justice and judgment. You know, you reap what you saw. Um, so this is a very deep reading. You have the emperor as the underlying energy. Now, the emperor represents a very strong leader. Strong foundations is ruled by number four, which is strong foundation, stability. This is someone who knows how to lead his troops to victory, so a, a very powerful leader, someone who is incredibly self-confident and who has the benefit of experience under his belt. Um, this is fire energy and this is what the energy is around you at the moment and you may not be aware of. Um, I mean, the message I'm hearing is it's time for you to boss up, basically. The universe wants you to boss up. Um, this is what the universe wants you to be the emperor, basically. You, you're being deconstructed to be rebuilt into this powerful um, character. Now, let me move this around. Hope you can see it at the bottom here. So I said immediately when the Five of Cups came out that I was not surprised to see it. And that's because cups are to do with your feelings, your emotions, relationships. And the five is the number of change and challenges. And so with chaos and conflict and things crumbling down and that fire in the belly as I was talking about, I'm unsurprised to see that you are being challenged emotionally. Um, this can be the card of regret. Um, maybe something ended and you... You're experiencing regret or you're disappointed um, and you have the king of cups and i believe this is someone in your environment the king of cups is male or female general reading but it's the master of the suit so it's someone who's loving um, someone who is in touch with his feelings and generally speaking can um, master his feelings or her feelings but uh, a more negative aspect of the King of Cups can be um, being obsessive um, a little bit. And I don't read reversals because I believe that I feel when the negative aspect of a card needs to be read and in a, in a spread. And I'm getting more than, you know... The limiting energy of the King of Cups is what I'm feeling. This is someone um, who's disappointed you. Um, this is someone who um, was obsessive. Um, may even have tried to manipulate your feelings because, you know, he's the master of the suit, so he knows how to manipulate people's feelings. Um, it's highly unstable energy, basically. The King of Cups on the negative side is highly unstable and you've been through it is what I'm saying but justice appeared and justice is the karma card you reap what you saw and when justice appears on your spread it's for your benefit this is um, bringing back harmony and balance in your life you know um, so this is the first step to heal basically is you know, to have this balance back in your life. Um, because in the middle of your spread, you've got judgment. And judgment is the wake-up call. I mean, there are layers to the scars, obviously. Major arcana, again, so more permanent energy. And judgment is like having something illuminated and you going, oh, okay. It's like, it, it's, a, it's a revelation, literally, a wake-up call. It can also mean, you know, it's a report card where you're being judged for what you've done. But for you, for this reading, what I'm 
getting basically is that something's been highlighted and it's really shaken you to your core and the chaos and conflict there's been a revelation um, you're not being manipulated anymore by this king of cups whoever that was is what i'm trying to say and i can't help but see that right beneath it you've got the ten of wands and the ten is the number of completion wands is passion fire energy you know what really ignites you the ten of wands is um, dropping your wands it's having felt overburdened and finally being able to let go of this burden and it's just under the revelation which you've got in the center of your spread so i'm getting a lot of freeing energy going on there and next to judgment you also have strength and strength is another major arcana now i think this is a beautiful card because this is basically relying on your own um, personal inner courage this is you overcoming whatever you need to overcome and and growing from it it's your inner fortitude it's no, knowing that you've got this it's not going to be easy, but you've got the quiet confidence that you're going to be successful. You're going to come out at the other end of the tunnel. Um, you can see how she's um, confidently wrestling the beast, the creature. And she's not panicked. She's not over emotional. She, she knows that she's got this. She knows she's going to manage it. It's, she exudes fire energy and, yeah inner confidence and I think this is this um, revelation that's got you into this mode because you've got the king of wands and I believe that this could be read two ways it could be you embodying the characteristic of that incredibly charismatic king um, as I said wands is to do with passion desire someone's a go-getter and who's gonna go after what they want or it could be someone else, someone who came to you, someone who awoke some feelings within you and who may have presented you with a brand new beginning because it's right above the fall. So as I said, it's over you being, you know, all powered up on your journey to become the emperor it's one step from the emperor they both fire energies that's why i'm saying this or it's someone in your environment who brought you this revelation um, by maybe giving you a brand new passionate start beginning of a relationship for instance could be take what resonates and as i just mentioned you then have the fool which is the same as the taurus reading again the higher power the fool the brand new beginning that's guided by god the divine the universe it's looking at at, at life at a new beginning through the eyes of a child it's taking the leap of faith and you can only take the leap of faith if you are um, if you've got that quiet but in a confidence and strength that you know the the king of wands has that's represented by the strength the emperor it's really not being afraid shedding all of your fears in order to jump into something fresh and brand new because as i said because i already read this card you're going to drop your burden you're going to be freed from this king of cups whoever that was and this is going to be very very freeing and the other thing I wanted to tell you, and this is a message for just a few of you, not all of you, if we're not talking about a love relationship, it could be another bearing parent, um, someone who you felt very loyal to, and it's very difficult to break from the um, grasp of the influence of a parent. And so, um, but you've had a revelation and you're powering up, and you're ready to embrace this brand new start and doing this will make you drop that burden the, you know the fear of disappointing a parent because you do not agree with their point of view or because you are trying to go in a certain way in your life in a certain direction and they may not agree because remember the people who love us the most like our parents 
sometimes they don't like it when they see that you're changing because they're worried that they're going to lose you. It comes from a place of fear. Um, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. It doesn't mean that they, they want to criticize you. It's just they're afraid of losing you if you change. So that's where, it, you know, and understanding where it comes from also helps healing um, the emotional challenge that you may have experienced if we're dealing as, with a parent who's overbearing. Because the emperor can also represent an overbearing parent. Now, I know people tend to say it's a man because it's, it's, it's the emperor, but this is general reading. It could be an overbearing mother. It doesn't have to be a father. And as a final outcome, you've got the Nine of Wands, and I am unsurprised to see it happening because it's just under strength. And the Nine is the number of achievement. The Nine of Wands is having given everything, your heart and soul, to something, um, feeling exhausted, but knowing that you you can continue, that you, you can push forward, you're not ready to give up. It's really like um, starting a new... <laughs> after some challenges. Um, I'm going to just clarify this for you, just to make sure that we see what's going on for your, your outcome. But this is the card of pushing forward, you know, using your strength. Clarify the Nine of Wands for my Virgo Quirins. of coins, making a decision, weighing up your options. And the Empress, beautiful. So another major arcana for you. The Empress is ruled by number three, which is the number of growth and expansion. And this is a beautiful card. It talks about um, the birth of a project, or the birth of a new love, or the birth of a child. It talks about abundance um, coming your way, prosperity, creativity. So, yeah, as I was saying to you, Nine of Wands, you've put your heart and soul into this. You've really been through it. You can see it from justice, strength, going through judgment. You've got a brand new beginning. So you're going to start after having experienced all of that, start again after having overcome those challenges. Those nine um, skulls are burning there, are what you went through. And you're going to be weighing up your options, um, you know, going, eh, not so sure. But whatever you choose is going to bring you abundance. And abundance is whatever you want it to be. It can be abundance in beautiful relationships. It can be abundance um, in your physical realm so you know money that kind of thing but it can also be um, peace the beautiful peace of mind you know the end of the chaos and conflict um, but it's going to take you where you need to be this is a growing energy and it's it's beautiful it could be it could bring you um, the birth of something brand new whether we're talking of love a child or something that's promised by the fool right here you're going to be able to drop your wants drop the burden um, you're going to free yourself from the influence of this um, King of Cups, whether that is, and just being guided by your spirit team. So the message really is not to worry about this period of chaos and conflict and Five of Cups energies you've been under. This is not going to stay. Things are going to move forward. This is meant to happen for you. You are going to grow so much from this. And the future is looking really bright with the Empress. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. If you did, or if the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful end of the month, and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.